and strong like that. Does everyone in Alrekstadia play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding! That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes! Let us go, Viking! Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do, like it is really happening. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do. It is amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! I am as hard as Heimdall's tower! Then run me like the Valgrin's gates and enter Valhalla! Take all plunder you want, Vikinger! And take us also and let the love hunger consume you! Another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. I will feed your teeth. Wrapped in your tongue, my Come on, I need a challenger. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet, by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish.
Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. Stomach. Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? Hold there, friend. Where's I think? Evil! You arga shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace, and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shat into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
<laughs> ah, a thirsty foe! Down it faster than me, and you are the victor! Got a wager in you! Put your silver on the barrel! You're on. Man your horn!
pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. <laughs> I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask... Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava, a wolf kissed. You are Kjotve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjorn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. 
It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Avar? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. It would be best for us both if you left Norway, to avoid the heat that comes with such friction. I have no ambition to rule, only to live and die with glory. That may be, but however firmly we make our choices, it is fate that decides our outcome. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Thornburg, warrior. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you? How can I help? Anything else? I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. Take his pleasure and move on, you moon-eyed magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Eivor, open the door. Come in. 
Keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotve's riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell.
if you come looking for bears. There are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now... Now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, Writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Peace. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true Dringer. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory. For the wonder of year do I raise my blade. If you come looking for bears, there are none living here. Not now. You are alone. My name, we will all... We are... It will... He gives... I did... It is with very well. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering train gear do I raise my place. Skill and ferocity. That is all that matters. Going to feed the worms. for all the
Doombringer. Ragnar would have liked you. A fitting end to honorable warring. Now I go to see my brother. He who laughed at death. Scourge of all England. Ragnar Lothbrok. Farewell, Dringa. Listen for hoofbeats and follow the Valkyries home. be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My coat. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to join them? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. It must be around here somewhere. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now. 
The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. You are different than the kind my flights of fancy attract. Burdened, decorated, and delicate. Delicate. The others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And the comb? Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scramble over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself.